In this lesson, let's focus on the sidebar. And the first thing that I will do is I will move the sidebar to the right side by using the following configuration option sidebar.location and set it to right. Then I also prefer to customize icons for folders and files. To do so, I'm going to install the following extension called Material Icon Theme. So let's install this extension and activate these icons. And right away we're seeing how all those icons in the sidebar are changed. Also next to every folder we're seeing those arrows. I prefer to hide them, so I will use Hides Explorer Arrows configuration option set to true. And after saving the changes, those arrows will disappear. The next configuration option enables sticky scroll allows us to disable the behavior. When we are scrolling in the sidebar, the folder names are fixed at the top. And I prefer those folder names to not be fixed during scrolling. So I am assigning value of false to this option. Also, when we are hovering File Explorer, we are noticing those indentation guides. There is a way to disable those guides by using the rendered indent guides option set to none. The next configuration option 3.indent allows us to set the amount of spaces that denote nesting levels. By default, 8 is used, but if you'd like to increase this indentation to make the nesting more obvious, you can increase this number, for example, let's use 16, and right away we're seeing how the nesting level was increased. Actually, I'm going to use default value 8. The next option is called Compact Folders, and what this option does is the following. If I'm going to create a couple of folders, one inside the other, and then put some file within the second folder called B, just because folder named A does not have any files, besides folder called B, VS Code shows those folder in such compact view. But I prefer to always show folders by using the default view, so let's disable this behavior. And after saving configuration file, we're seeing how that folders view has been changed. Also, we can drag files and folders around inside File Explorer, and whenever we want to drag some file in another folder, we are asked for confirmation. So to avoid this confirmation, we can add the following configuration option, confirm, drag and drop, and set it to false. And after this, we're not gonna be asked for confirmation when dragging folders and files around. The same goes with file deletion via File Explorer. When we'll try to remove files from File Explorer, we will not be asked for confirmation if we'll set confirm delete option to false. The next option called decorations.pages. I'm gonna set it to false, but before saving this file, let's open up another file and make some syntax errors in here. And right away we're seeing that some indicators appear next to those file names inside File Explorer that have errors. So by setting that configuration option decorations.pages to false, those indicators will be hidden. Next, if we use version control system in our project and we do some modifications that are not yet committed, the file name with changes will be highlighted with different color in the file explorer. I will disable this behavior and set this option decorations.enable to false. After saving the changes, we're seeing that that file in File Explorer is no longer highlighted. Let's keep modifying VS Code configurations in the next lesson.